What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Horrible Noise. This is Hoi Noi TV coming at you with a quick update video. This is a video that's going to be based around things that you people asked for in the comments section. So short and sweet, mostly updates on my rescue snakes and some of my other pets. And maybe just a quick personal update on me and my situation as well. Let's get into it. So, as many of you will remember, I rescued two ball pythons off, off of Kijiji, which is of course the Canadian Craigslist, uh, that were living in really terrible conditions. Shattered glass in the aquarium, uh, an inch of feces in the bottom of the aquarium, totally inadequate housing, starving, emaciated snakes, which I rescued. Anyway, I Ubered out to where they were, picked them up and uh, rehoused them into these pretty minimalistic tub setups. And that was, uh, I wanna say, two months ago. This is Ruben. Uh, he is a shy guy, but not at all mean. And he has put on some weight. He's eating like a champ. He had a great shed and uh, he has been spoken for. Somebody is driving into Toronto just in the next uh, week or so here to pick him up and take him home as their new pet. So that's exciting. And this over here is Mortimer who was in slightly worse shape, a little more underweight and still, you know, quite skinny, but he's eaten several big rats under my care and he has put on quite a bit of weight. Mortimer's a little bit defensive uh, when you first approach him, especially from above like this, but once you get him out, he's a real sweetheart. And like I said, he still needs to put on a little more weight, but just because he's such a great eater, I'd say he's ready for adoption as well. He is really aggressive with food. If he can smell rodent in the room, he's gonna come out swinging as soon as you open the box. Not that he's an aggressive or mean snake, just that he likes to eat. So, if you live in the greater Toronto area and you want a male normal ball python who's always going to be a little on the small side because his growth is stunted but still makes an excellent pet, very low maintenance, hit me up in the comments or message me on Instagram. In conclusion on the update of the two rescue ball pythons, they're both doing great and uh, if all goes to plan, they will be in their new forever homes by the end of the month. Next up, people have been asking for an update on toothpaste. This is a very popular snake apparently, and with good reason because he is gorgeous. He's a nocturnal animal, so he's currently sleeping. He is eating regularly and putting on weight, which is great. He's as pretty as ever. He's got those blue spots, those white spots, those yellow spots. Still got the gorgeous blue and white underbelly, which gives him his name, toothpaste and a lot of blue on his face, which is what I want in a green tree python. I just like blue, it's my favorite color. This enclosure is totally adequate. The temperature is on point, the humidity is on point. The size is good for now, but it is not forever. It's very minimalistic, and this is a gorgeous snake that deserves a big display enclosure. So, I'm always shopping for front opening Exoterra vivariums in his size and he doesn't need it yet but when I see the right deal on one I'm obviously gonna get it and we'll have a big bioactive setup with live plants for him that he can spend his adult life in which he's still a ways away from he's I'd call him a teenage snake right now he's changed colors but he's still not full grown by any means also I've taken to calling him a he but I don't know the sex of this animal. I should keep that in mind. Next up on the update train is our girl here, the Taiwanese Beauty Rat Snake. I have handled her multiple times since, and I don't fully let my guard down when she's up near my face, but I've found her to really be a very tractable snake. You know, I put her up in the tree, she comes down, she explores around, she goes somewhere I don't want her to go, like under the couch, and I go grab her, and uh, just put her back up in the tree, and she, she gets it, you know? She knows the drill, and it's really cool to see. It is sweltering hot in my apartment right now. Not surprised at all to see she's taking a soap. And I have to say, she's doing exceptionally well. 
My girl, the Brazilian rainbow boa, is in her hide hugging the heat mat. She is gravid with babies. And we're still looking at as many as two months before she hatches anything, which is a bummer. Because I am getting tired of waiting. I'm just so excited. But it's going to be cool when they happen. And you guys will be along for the journey. In other hot gossip, I overhauled my aquarium a little bit. I gave it a good clean. It still looks like a little bit of a mess, though. It's just so overgrown. I'm a guy that hates clipping back his plants because it feels like I'm killing something that I worked hard to grow in the first place. For those of you that don't know, I've been a freshwater fish planted aquarium guy for years and years. Uh, I got into reptiles first when I was a little kid, but in my adult life, I was much more about aquascaping and, uh, and keeping exotic tropical fish and growing underwater plants. But just in the last few years, reptiles and specifically snakes have taken the top seat. I do, however, of course, keep this little 20 gallon here in my apartment that is thriving with neon tetras, coolie loges, a couple other things. I also have this shrimp tank, which is blacked out right now because of an algae problem. Uh, not too much to look at. Maybe we'll get into it another day once I overhaul it, but it does exist. Last but absolutely not least, we gotta talk about the homie Snack. Snack is the pastel male ball python. I'm sure you know if you saw my last episode, but Snack is my first snake I ever got. He escaped his enclosure and disappeared into the walls of my apartment and was missing for eight months. I was sure he was dead, uh, but he is back. And again, if you saw the video, you know all that, but just a quick update, he is doing great. He is eating, he is pooping, he is partying with me, he comes out, he's just as handable as ever. Recently took him to the park and let him move around in the grass, which he's always been a huge fan of. And just so many people who know me and therefore know Snack are so happy to hear that he's back. It's been, it's been kind of a big deal within my, my friend circle and my social media following. So that's awesome. And uh, I'm just so happy to have him back. It's starting to feel real, but really for that first week, I kind of had like a postpartum depression thing going on where I couldn't, I couldn't believe that he was back or like, I couldn't understand it. And I was like, what is this? Who is, what snake is this? But it's, it's snack. It's him. It's the same boy with the same personality as ever. I know that doesn't sound like much with him just lying here, but, uh, he's trying to stay cool right now cause it's sweltering in here and I can't blame him. Oh, here he comes. Hello, active boy. Anyway, he is my miracle snake. He says, what's going on? You got a mouse for me or are you gonna take me out? He loves both. He never shrinks away from you when you reach for him, even if you're towering over him. And he just loves to be handled. He loves to climb on you. He loves to explore the apartment. He loves to explore the outdoors with supervision of course and uh, just has the best temperament of any ball python I've ever met and ball pythons of course are known for having the best temperament of any pet snake so that's saying a lot isn't it buddy yes all right so that's snack as for me personally uh, believe it or not, I'm back to work. I'm a bartender here in Toronto. Very, very part-time right now. But it's something to do. And it's cool. People come sit on the patio. And I pour them beers. And it's, it's a real big brain operation. But uh, it's something, you know. I've been cooped up in the house all this time. So it's, it's, good to, it's good to feel at least a little bit useful. Beyond that, my synth punk band, Head Honcho has been dropping a new track every Monday for the last several Mondays. We got two tracks left, so two more weeks until our full demo EP album is uh, out for streaming and free downloading. Check it out. We are Head Honcho Band on Instagram, and we are Head Honcho Band on SoundCloud. We're also on Spotify as Head Honcho. Very different, uh, interesting kind of experimental stuff that you might be into. So, you know, give it, give it a shot, give it a chance. Beyond that, I'm just trying to make the most of this very weird summer, you know? 
Thankfully, there's a lot of green spaces here in the GTA that I can go to to uh, get that sweet, sweet dopamine from nature and also look for critters and creepy crawlies. So this has been a very brief, but hopefully informative and interesting episode of Hoi Noi TV. I'm your boy, Hoi Noi, signing off. <laughs> I'm also sweating because I don't have AC. I might have to start a Patreon just to get an air conditioner in this apartment, goddamn. No, I'm just kidding. But actually, I may start a Patreon so that we can look into me getting a GoPro. Because another thing that I am into, not so much since I moved to Landlock, Ontario, but uh, I'm a free diver. I'm not scuba certified, but I do love putting on fins and a mask and diving down to uh, fairly impressive depths, if I'm honest, and looking for uh, flora and fauna. Back when I lived on the west coast in British Columbia, I would free dive for crabs. You know, you just pick them up and then you uh, and boil them up on the beach in seawater and dip them in garlic and butter and, it, and eat like a king. So, uh, can't do that here in Ontario, but I would love to be able to take a camera underwater and check some stuff out, you know, observe aquatic and semi-aquatic creatures in their natural underwater environments. That would be cool. Just, just an idea I got in the works. Anyway, don't forget to uh, sanitize your house keys, your cell phone. Make sure those toenails are clipped. Shoot me a comment, tell me what you think of the channel so far. Subscribe if you haven't already, because there's sweet, sweet, good content coming down the pipe and you're gonna love it. And uh, hit the notification bell so that I get pushed to the top of all your subscriptions when I put stuff out so you can see my face first thing when you open your YouTube in the morning and you have your coffee with me, your boy. Hoi noi. Thank you so much. I love you.